Hi, it's Keith Townsend from the CTOadvisor.com with a coffee chat. We're going to talk about architect versus engineer. I think it's appropriate that we have a whiteboard in the background because this is one of those topics that I found on Twitter to be extremely surprisingly polarizing. One of the reasons that it's polarizing is because it's very subjective. From one organization to another organization, the title architect is very fluid. It's a fungible concept. If you're an engineer that t loves getting into the nitty gritty details of a technology, understanding what knobs needs to be turned, you spend a lot of time on certifications and not just passing the test, but knowing the protocols to a deep, deep level then architecture might be a path that you want to pursue mm, not gingerly but at least knowingly that there's a big difference between being an architect and being an engineer. In some organizations the term engineer can also include a lot of architectural responsibilities but I think the nature of the challenge is talking about what it is you want to do with your career. Architects are not as technical as engineers. So what do I mean by that? Does that mean that if you give an architect and an engineer the same task that the architect could not do the task? No, that's not what I mean. I mean, the nature of the job is different than an engineer. An architect is asked to do something different than what an engineer is asked to do. Do you want to be a heads down technical expert that only focuses on the technology, whether that's designing the system, which is architecture, or do you want to be an engineer that's focused on execution and deployment? Or do you want to be a quote unquote architect that deals with a lot of the business challenges associated with technology? Uh, architect is almost always going to gather requirements, take those requirements, negotiate those requirements between the engineering group and the business and make sure that the engineering spec meets the business requirements. An architect will manage vendor relationships. An architect will sometimes do project management. And an architect has to be willing to be a little bit fungible on where responsibilities lie. So a lot of things that engineers typically don't have to deal with, so project management, vendor contracts, negotiations, dealing with budgets, negotiating budgets, a lot of what's considered managerial tasks, architects take on that role. So while you may remain technical and, and, and very deeply technically skilled, you don't necessarily get to leverage that in your day-to-day -day job every day. Your expectation may also be to be the expert in a given technology and do all this other stuff. And it's this all this other stuff that I talk about when I'm talking about you may not be happy or tread carefully when you think about pursuing the architecture route. If you just like to take your head and keep it down and into the keyboard and into the weeds, architecture is not that role. A, being an architect and specifically being an enterprise architect is much more complicated. That's it for this CTO advisor. Talk to you guys next coffee chat. Next time, follow me on the web at CTO advisor on Twitter. www.thectoadvisor.com is the website and where you can also find the podcast, which is also available in iTunes. Talk to you guys next time.